All right, so today I'm reading in the end of the story chronological Bible reading plan that we're doing in a year, uh, along with my Life in Christ daily devotional journal. And today, the verse that stood out to me in entry number four was speak to the children of Israel. This is Numbers 33, 51. Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, when you have crossed the Jordan into the land of Canaan. I gotta tell you, one word stood out to me, like, 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 like loud in that verse. And it's the word when, when. This is the thing about the Bible. So like, if you are taking this journey with the children of Israel coming out of Egypt, the Exodus, and powerful deliverance, God powerfully, mightily freed them from bondage in Egypt. And then you see all the complaining and the grumbling and the rebellion, all the mess that took place before they got to the promised land to this point in their story as they're on the borders of Canaan. And honestly, you just don't feel like God should give them anything. You don't feel like, you feel like God should even bring them into the promised land. They've been wandering in the wilderness and sometimes you feel like, man, that's just where they need to be. But God, in his grace, says, when you, same group of stiff-necked, rebellious people, when you enter into the promised land, that should give us some hope. That should give us some courage today. This wilderness journey of the children of Israel is parallel to our journey in life. God is saying by faith, when, when you enter into the promised land, I want to encourage you, keep holding on to the when, because God sees you at the finish line. <laughs> when. <laughs>